according to St. Luke. We were there the other day. St. Mark, I'm sorry, you're right. They love to correct me loud. St. Hey, Mark! <laughs> loud in the air. St. Hey, Mark! You could have whispered and sent me a note. You <laughs> could have walked up here intelligently. You're a young man, graduate. Letting all my bishops and elders see me make a mistake like that. I would have used some wisdom with you, man. But that's all right, go ahead. The scriptures are not to be taught per se, they're to be studied. Scriptures for in them. You think you have eternal life, and these are they that testify of me. Who is me? Me is the word. For in the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word was with God. And in the last book of the Bible, it says, and his name shall be called Jesus. No, Elohim. No, Jehovah. No, his name shall be called the word of God. That's the last book, man. So I'm not here to abreast you scripture. That's what we get dogma and doctrine and all these denominations from the scriptures because we don't rightly divide. I don't preach scriptures. You may know more scriptures than I, but you don't know more word than I do. He told me to preach the word. And he that believe in his baptized shall be saved. And the word is God incarnate in Christ. Read for me. Did you give the verse and chapter? Give it to me again, please. Saint Mark, fifth chapter, starting with the first verse. First verse. Listen what it says. And they came over unto the other side. Of the sea. You see, there's some of you may be a little perturbed with me at this hour because I had you in a comfort zone where you know we had mastered being baptized and six stones and. You know, we had what's called advanced, progressive doctrine. And then I had to come along with something else. You, you see, he had traveled almost 150 miles circumferentially of Jerusalem. But he was not happy having done what he did there. Scripture said he got his disciples and he did what? He came over. One scripture said he crossed over to the other side. And some of you that's raising hell about us moving now, don't you know there's another side? What are you doing with the tent now? Why you keep buying property? Why you keep buying church? Us old now. <laughs> Pray Lord, my social security just come to me. I got my EBT card. What are we doing? We need the rest. I'm on medicine. Jesus said, it's time to cross over. We've been baptized. We already got the Holy Ghost. 
And some of you think you're doing something because you're operating in the gifts of the Spirit. The gifts of the Spirit is for earth. You are anointed with gifts to do a work. If you got a gift, God requires labor out of you. Anytime the anointing comes on me, it's the labor. I need the healing, the sick, casting out devils, prophesying, interpreting, preaching. <clears throat> and somebody else say you 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 know it. And come in here and go to sleep. <laughs> My foot. You don't win, you don't talk to anybody. If you don't work, you can't stay anointed. The anointing is for work. Faith without works is dead. You got to work out your own soul salvation. Miracles have to be worked. Paul said the working of miracles. So the anointing is to do a job. You may have the office, but do you have the anointing? A lot of you have appointed to the office. You in the office. But you're not under the anointing because you're not working. The anointing does not retain a level. When you don't function, you leak. And that's why you have problems when you get up. You don't go as times before because you have to be tenacious. You have to be frequent. You have to be aggressive. You have to be progressive. You have to be instant. Glory to God. Oh man, I'm tired now. I'm getting a little bit more. Look at somebody to the other side. String your weave and hug. Other side. Other side. Sometimes you gotta move aside. Because I'm going to the other side. If the man and the most disciplined men in the world are going to the other side, why are we sitting here? that's preaching to you, he cannot bring in the now. 
only two ministries in the church can bring in the now, and that's an apostle and a prophet. If you're just quarantined under pastors and evangelists and local teachers and so forth, it ain't getting no way. They are teaching you truth, but truth is where God was. Revelation is where God's going. Praise God! <laughs> Pastor, why you keep moving? I got a revelation. Revelation is revealing what is and what is to be and not what was. I don't need no revelation no where I come from. I already know where I come from. And I don't want to know where. Forgetting those things. Come on, help me out. Which are behind me. I press. Shady cold on my side. Come on, I dare you to worship God with me. Oh, shady cold my side. of the Lord is. Jim is liberty. The freedom. Exoneration. So that, read from it. Unto the other side of the sea. Into the country. He brought them to the other side of the sea. Now, if you let him going to take you through elements. He's, this, he's not just the God of land, he's the God of the sea. They were amazed when they saw him walking on the water because they thought he was just a land walking God. God want to show you something. Come on, God want to show you something. You think he's just contained in your religion. <laughs> you think God is just a Baptist or a man. God will to show you something. He wants to peel the cataract from your eyes. <laughs> he wants to give you a revelation of <laughs> glory to God. <laughs> I've been in a, I would start out a Baptist, wind up in holes out of the homeless all my life. And I thought that was it until about two years ago. He said, hey man, come on, let's go to the other side. Aren't you tired of being carried? Aren't you tired of dogma and religion? And that's what most of you have. You're going to get mad with me now at some point during this message. So I may as well just induce it early. You just have a belief in religion. And truth, it's true that you should be baptized. It's true that you should be converted. It's true that you should have the spirit. It's true that you should give yourself to worship in a local assembly where a residential glory is. That's true. It's true if you do all of these things. But remember, truth is where God was. It's true that he parted the Red Sea, but you don't want to go back there and stand beside the sea. Come on. Come on, you want to move. Come on, you want some else to happen. Since the Moses bench moved, you need something else. Since you got the Holy Ghost, you need something else. There's more to it. Y'all gonna give me another minute? I'm gonna let you young people, I don't know what they got. But I know I wanna see them after the service of leadership. Because they need to assemble every Sunday morning. Where you do not have a Sunday school, you do not have a future church. And you need leadership. You need people that's got your children in their heart. You don't need lazy, inconsiderate, undedicated, uncommitted folk in leadership. Now see if I got a salary, I wouldn't say it. If somebody were putting 
certain amount of money in my hand every week. That's like a mother on my mind. When I get ready to say it, I, <laughs> come on, you got to praise Hallelujah. You got that. I'll play. So he takes them to the other side. There's a side of holiness you don't know nothing about. There's a side to your Baptist faith you don't know anything about because God is a Baptist. There's a side to your Methodist faith you don't know anything about because God uses a method. There's a side to your Catholic faith you don't know anything about because God is universal. That's what Catholic means. This is not the time. If you still where you were 20 years ago, you don't know anything about the other side. Anything stale won't help you. I right, read. That's why I told you to get your Bible. I want you to read. I want you to see what Bishop is talking about. Go ahead. Into the country of the gathering. So he takes them through the water, over the water, into the country of the gathering. Now, there are 10 provinces here. And, I, and what, what I want to say is that you are born into the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God is a province of the kingdom of heaven. You are not born in the kingdom of heaven. You're born in the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God is beneath the kingdom of heaven. It's a province that emulates from the kingdom of heaven and God is a king and the king is coming back to visit his province. You see, I get a lot of smack but I love it because I talk back. He ain't going to talk to me and talk about me and then I'm going to be cool when I get up here. So, oh no, I'm going to let the good guy go. Oh, baby. Yes, Kick my dog, I'm kicking your cat. <laughs> it's gonna be a fight. <laughs> why is he doing this? Why is he doing this? Why, 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 why? Because God told me to extend the time. And people who still in standstill is are not extending, growing. And the dynamics of the kingdom of God is growth and change. If you are not growing, you are not changing. Come on, help me out. How many of my little babies in the same place? That's why my little old people go to sleep. They don't see me sleeping. Because the familiar is boring. Amen. When you're in a service and you already know what's going to happen, you're going to sleep. <laughs> oh, no. Some people get up and tell about your mind be moving right with them. You know, I'm excited. I'm going to be in my shade, drink your body, and feel with you. <laughs> But when you don't know what to expect, you stay alert. So now he takes them. There's the countries that God wants to take you into. We're in the province of the kingdom of heaven, which is called the kingdom of God. But God wants us to extend. Some of y'all won't even witness to your family. Your daughter sitting right across from you eating cornflakes, not even saying. And you there talking about double shoe. <laughs> she don't even know what you're talking about. You talking to me, Daddy? 
you afraid to tell me? And shame tell you talking to the Lord. No, I'm talking to the Lord. But you said, the Lord, who is that? How dare you keep your grandchild and they don't know you're an anointed man of God? How dare you keep your granddaughter and they don't know God is inside of you? It's a shame. Your light is not for you. Your light is for somebody else. They should know the difference on your child. Witnessing is not talking about verbal expression. It's talking about the presence of God you carry. And people say, she's different. He's different. Something about him. That's the true witness. That does, does not precede you. You can shut your mouth. You can shut them lips all down. Let's look, it's very interesting. And the Gadarenes, not only did they have ten provinces, but the Gadarenes were Gentiles. They were not Jews. All the provinces and, and territories around you are not Christians. You are considered a spiritual Jew. Everything that's a Gentile are those who do not know the Lord. And the Lord said, come on. It's time to go into this country. Read, listen now. I'm, I'm not going to be long. Give me a little long. I'm going to cut it short anyway because I think the back got together. Old folks say D back got together. They never did say T A E S to D. The police is coming. And the first they told me to know what they they were saying. <laughs> Some of y'all be talking, what that, what that, what that, I, I don't understand that word. They don't understand. He didn't say demo. They don't. Read. Second verse. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit. Immediately. A nasty, grimy, demon-possessed man met him in no city before that was he greeted by such. Usually, it's an official delegation. That consists of the tax collector, the mayor, governmental officials. But as soon as he got to the gate, a man filled with, a, with spirits came to greet him. Some old silly stuff. 
Because the devil does not want to see people free. Come on, come on, come on. You got these old religious spirits. Where somebody stand up and say, we Baptists. You don't need them homeless people in here. We bad. Just what our mom and daddy was. And that demon got you thinking that baptism was supposed to stop. Holiness is an unmeasured sequence. You don't stop. Being baptized in water is not enough. Being baptized with the Holy Ghost is not enough. Being baptized in the one church is not enough. There are three baptisms. Did anybody ever tell you that? Denomination stops him. Religious people stop him. Political people stop him. Racist people stop him. That's what he meant. That's what represent that city. A man, this is the I'm gonna have to give you the rest of this later. A man, this is strong. This is strong stuff of you. That had 2,000 demons in it. 